Thanks, Coach Ross. Uh, in this video, this is going to be the start of a series I'm going to be doing here, uh, showing some practice clips and kind of focusing in on certain um, aspects of uh, how we how we run our practice and certain drills that we do and certain uh, uh, things that we try and uh, focus in on on certain days. Uh, in this video here, we're going to be focusing on the red zone and showing you how vital corner can be in the red zone. So. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to see more content. So clips here, we're going to look at a practice drill uh, called perfect play that we do. It's essentially just 11 on 11. And um, we're working red zone. We're focused on red zone here. So we're working on the corner a little bit. Um, we ran a few other plays in the red zone, but this video, uh, we are going to focus in on corner. So what we do with corner, again, a couple coaching points here is our, our Z receiver, since we are running, we're gonna run a corner to the right here. He's gonna run a four step corner and his aiming point since we are at uh, at the 20 yard line and in, he's gonna aim for that back pylon uh, mm -hmm. of the end zone. Our Y receiver right here is gonna run a one step slant and sit, or in other words, a snag, and he's gonna sit it in. He's gonna try and find this grass here or the grass right here. He does actually run it a little bit deep in this clip however he does find the grass he doesn't settle and then lastly our running back is running the swing out here okay so if you remember some of some of my previous videos i talk about like other coaches do that do corner uh first we were watching the cornerback what he does okay and essentially what we tell the quarterback is if this corner does anything anything but bail okay so if he bails and just falls back into a cover three, then we are throwing the corner route every single time. Um, but if he sits or or chases this rece or receiver right here, then we are um, going to throw that corner. But if he bails, then we're going to look to the snag and the swing. So essentially just turns into a stick play. So again, if that corner bails, if that corner bails, then we look to this outside linebacker right here and essentially it turns into a stick. So we tell the quarterback, if he bails, watch the, your eyes immediately go to this player right here, this defender right here, and same rules of stick. If he stays in right here, then we throw out to the swing. But if he goes and chases the running back, then we hit the snag in behind it right in there. It essentially just turns into a stick. And again, on the back side, like I talked about before, we have double slants. One step on the inside, three step on the outside. And we typically see one high safety. So that's how we have this defense set up. We set, we set up in a one high safety, essentially just a straight 4-4. Four, four. Um, that's, that's, that's probably the main defense that we do see is a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> so a single high safety. Now, one rule we do have if that if that safety is – Shaded all the way over, which typically in a, in a straight two by two set, he's not. He's going to be basically center field in the, um, in the middle of the formation. But if he does happen to shade his way way over there and he is shaded to the outside, then we look away from the corner. But I mean, rarely do we ever see that. So again, we'll run this clip, and I have another one too, just to show you how how vital it can be uh, and how much that corner route opens up. And you can see he catches the ball easily with the, and the safety has no chance of getting over there. Um, the outside linebacker actually decided to sit in a little bit of a zone corner. His eyes are with this receiver quarterback sees that receiver uh, Z receiver here makes a good plant and he hits the corner. And at that point, ball's already in the air. Um, safety really has no chance of getting to that one. And it's for an easy over the shoulder shot. Do it one more time. And it's a simple little easy play. It's a quick little read. All that quarterback has to do is just read this corner and see what he's doing now. It's very easy to tell if that corner wants to bail because he's just going to simply just take off this way and back out. But if he's eyes are right on this receiver right here that's a good indication that he's focusing on that receiver and he's that's his number one job um so the quarterback can see that and he just lets it go right over the top 
at that point, again, like I said, the safety doesn't really have much of a chance. Here's another example of the same play corner right here. Again, running the snag here, four step corner and the swing. And that time you can see that the linebacker that's matched up over him, his eyes were in the backfield here. His eyes were in the backfield here, and he had to make a decision whether he wanted to stay with the receiver, which he thought he was going to, or come out and chase the swing. And you can see the choice that he made. He hesitated, which gave this receiver that, that chance just to open up and take off. And at this point, the safety is nowhere to even be found here. You can see by the time he realizes it's too late, the ball's already in the air, the receiver's already in his break, and it's an easy touchdown. And you can see too, you can't really see it in the frame here. Corner is right over here, but you can see him come into frame. He's focused in on this receiver, and that's his job. So he's not bailing. So in other words, that, that's an indication right there for the quarterback to throw that corner all day. Again, let's do it one more time. He's doing a four step, hard, hard plant with his inside foot, and he's headed toward that inside or that backside pile, or the back pile, excuse me. And you can see here's the one high safety that we typically see. Easy touchdown. 